Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, time for another blind commentary, and today we're watching a short two minute video called Conspiracy Pony 42 by Little Shy FIM. This was suggested by Fire Pokemon 2014, Scale the Shapeshifter, Beautiful Celestian Face, The Best Little Miss Rarity, Joshua Kyle Isidro, Javier Powell, Mindless Phoenix, The Undead Spartan 222, Tyler Caldwell, El Fata Murdal, and Atomic Catacombs. And, uh, yes, this comes just a few days after I looked at another silly conspiracy-themed pony video, uh, the Illuminati one from the Brony Notion. <laughs> that other video is where a lot of, uh, the requests on this one came in, in fact. <laughs> Made it so I couldn't really ignore this one any longer, so, uh, yeah. Wonder if it will be quite as preposterous as that was. <laughs> we had in that one pentagrams being drawn between ponies, Lauren Foss's name being connected to the number of the beast, and of course, Twilight Sparkle being revealed as the Antichrist. No clue how this will compare, but I'm certainly interested, so let's go ahead and start it. Okay. Secrets. Hidden Starting symbolism. with the slender thing? Corruption. <laughs> conspiracy and drama Derpy's a symbol of corruption, fandom, huh? But the largest conspiracy Never would have guessed that. might just be lurking within every My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episode ever made. Makes this sense to me. This conspiracy has remained a mystery for many years with little hope of being solved until now. Of course. Welcome to Conspiracy Pony. <laughs> And we got Darpy with a foil Anyone hat. Who uses the internet knows that the number 42 is closely associated with the answer to life, the universe, yeah, and yeah. everything. There are it many theories guide surrounding to the galaxy. this mysterious number, but none come as close to the resolution of this mystery. I as think I saw Bill Bunny. there. Friendship is magic. <laughs> Maybe Twilight twice. Sparkle. She's the main character of the show and a favorite pony to many. But beneath her innocent-looking smile and animated equine-shaped pixels lies a dark secret. Twilight Sparkle holds the key to solving the Great 42 Mystery, and the answers are all around us. She's the star of the show, which aired in October 10th, 2010. That's 10 slash 10 slash 10, which in decimal binary equals, you guessed it, 42. <laughs> Some may call this connection <laughs> is that right? too abstract to hold any water, but the further evidence is overwhelming. Twilight's promotional trading card, number 42. Yeah, Remember, that's probably an intentional believes. one. 42. The that's also intentional. Our cutie mark, 42. I don't know the about that one. That might be... isn't contained by mere fiction either. <laughs> Tara Strong, the very voice of Twilight Sparkle, turned a certain age of relevant importance this year. Accurate as of this video's production, of course. <laughs> Thanks to this humble cartoon <laughs> okay. about pastel magical talking ponies, we may have just don't solved a mystery. think that means anything. The internet itself. 42 obviously has a close association with Twilight Sparkle. Twilight represents the element of magic. The show is called Friendship is Magic. Therefore, friendship is the meaning of luck. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. There was something flashed there. I didn't see what that one was. So, <laughs> that was a thing. I, uh, I think the Brony Notion sold his conspiracy a little better. With Little Shy, you can kind of tell right away just from the tone of his voice that he's just being silly and really doesn't expect anyone to buy into it at all. Which, uh, yeah, his conspiracy also wasn't quite as wonderfully ludicrous. Uh, no Antichrist here, just an exploration of coincidence and a few intentional references regarding, regarding the number 42, which is actually something that doesn't really have much greater meaning and it's mostly just relevant for its place in pop culture due to the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That said, this was a very amusingly presented video. I liked the over-the-top dramatics of the narration and everything. Also looked to be some subliminal stuff in there. Couldn't make out most of it, but I'm pretty sure I at least saw uh, the familiar shape of Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls in there. At least once. Maybe more than once. Don't know. Which, yeah, definitely approved there. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, and yeah, all in all, it was a fun bit of silliness. Hope you liked the commentary. Let me know if you did. And see you in the next one.